What's going on? It's Astrid here for episode five of Next Level Magic. And I could not let this day pass without talking about the energies that are coming through right now. And it's specifically around the new moon. And I wanted to share with you the hows of allowing this new moon energy to support you. So I've already shared some of the stuff that I've been like sort of like the information that I've been getting around why this moon is really specific uh, on social media. But on the podcast, I really wanted to go a little bit deeper into the hows. And so if you're listening to this on like March 3rd or 4th, don't worry, like you can still apply this podcast to your own practice and be able to tap into and tune into the same energy um, that we're doing right here right now right like if all of time is now then there would be absolutely no reason why you couldn't just come back to this exact moment that I'm recording this podcast and allow it to activate you from the place and time wherever you're at at this moment so if it's a little late, like I, earlier, I was like, oh, I should have recorded this sooner, but I don't fuck with shoulds, period. Um, and also, the last couple of days have been um, a really big energy drain, let's just say. Like, it feels like what I would imagine um, like a, a down period in bipolar would feel like. Like, literally getting out of bed is a chore for like two days. And um, some people might be like, dude, you probably need to go to the doctor and get that checked out. But here's what I know about it is that it lasts a couple days for me. And it's really not often that it happens. And um, if for about four years, I've been playing with this energy. And I, I guess like a couple years ago, I figured out what it means and what it feels like to fully fucking surrender into that dark, um, into that dark phase, what I call going dark. And whenever I started doing that, it, w- it would take like, you know, a week or two to um, overcome like that dark phase it began to take like two days actually if I'm being totally honest it might have taken way longer back then just because the resistance was so hardcore like I remember there being periods of you know a couple of months where I just could not shake the funk and I don't know something just happened I think you know in my spiritual practice whenever I started working with Hecate um I think that she really showed me how to navigate the dark how to see in the dark and how how to actually use it and how to like weave the chaos of it all. So um, it is really significant uh, that we are able to, to like really allow ourselves to go to that place, go to the dark, um, because this is where we are really able to strip back all of our agendas, all of, you know, our, um, I, what would you call it? I think agendas would be, you know, just the way that we think that it should be, the way that we want things to be. We're able to really fully disconnect from that in that place. And you're able to really allow yourself to open up to and tune to and hook into this new energy and the new upgrades that are like wanting to come through and these new activations get to flow from you and you get to actually exist and and live from a completely different place than you you could if you were active in your agendas if you were active in like this is the way it has to be Okay, sometimes we need to get knocked on our ass or we need to have all of our energy stripped from us in order to see what it is that we are like what direction we're really going in or to pivot or things like that. Like this is a very, very valuable state to be in. And mine lasts about a couple days and um, it's it it doesn't happen often, like I said, and I don't work with the moon often, but every time I do it's because I'm going through one of those dark periods um, and I get this nudge to check the moon phase and it's always freaking new. Um, so it's amazing <laughs> whenever that happens. And then also like on the second day, the second or the third day, as soon as the sun sets, I get this huge burst of energy. And so I absolutely know that it has everything to do with 
oh yeah, this is a signifier for me that like the collective has massive amounts of magic at their fingertips right now. And I get to be a channel for that. Like I get to attune people to those upgrades and how fucking cool is it? And just like sparks, like all this crazy awesome stuff. Um, and so that's what I really wanted to share on this podcast today is just like the really epic stuff that's coming through. Um, is Okay, so I keep saying um because I'm just really excited. So let's just take a breath. <sighs> All right, let's go. So technically, we're still in the dark phase of the moon right now as it sits at 8, 12 p.m. on March the 2nd. I believe we are still in the dark phase of the moon. If you don't know what the dark phase of the moon is, um, it's okay because like it usually gets skipped over quite a bit. Uh, people just go from waning moon to new moon and call it good but there's this really cool thing that happens before that first sliver of the moon shows up whenever the moon is actually new and in that that's called the dark moon and this is a place of like total rest this is a place of where what I was talking about at the beginning of this podcast you might be feeling stuff like that because it's really a time to unpack the bullshit and let go of just so much shit that's been like weighting you down that has absolutely no business being a part of your reality and if if we just skip from the waning moon to the new moon where you know the waning moon people are typically emptying out like from the full moon release and allowing themselves to keep on releasing for a couple of weeks or whatever and then just go straight into the intention setting of the new moon like you don't get that really potent moment of like, okay, what's left? Let me just fucking trade this. It's more like a trade off, right? It's like, okay, all, all all the things that are holding me back and bogging me down that are still left after the waiting period. Let me just fucking like, like surrender it, sacrifice it, do whatever, and then have the intentions for your new moon coming in. But this moon specifically, um, yeah it's there's there's something going on with it for sure to get me going like this but (laughs) if there's any type of subtle energy that you feel like you're still holding on to right now and I mean like right right this second is the perfect moment to completely let go of that to completely release it and I know that people ask all the time like well, how do I just let go? Like, how do I just release it? How do I just surrender it? And it's literally that, like, you choose to. And you stay with that choice until you allow your entire body, like, if you pay attention and you're thinking about something that you want to let go of, you might feel inside of your body like this anxiety or this fight or flight response kicking in or like this fear or just a general negative feeling towards whatever it is that you're wanting to let go of. The negative feeling might even be something that like like resentment towards the feeling. And so as you're releasing something, as you're letting go of something, it's not just a thing that happens in your mind. It's something that happens in your body. And this energy that we are in right now is highly, highly supportive of your body and nervous system working with you. And so whatever it is that you're holding on to right now, any um, thoughts or limitations of like things that you think might be blocking you from whatever it is that you want to accomplish create any of those things that you just decide right now to let it go and so what I would do and this is what the podcast is for is to like get more into the how of releasing this is what I would do is just ask ask yourself ask your body trust your body to be able to communicate and be like wanting to communicate with you what these subtle energies are that Uh, you need assistance with releasing so just take a moment to do that like maybe you tune in and you ask like you know what is it exactly that is stopping me from being my most brilliantly expressed self and you might see an image of you sort of like being jealous of what other people are doing 
um, if that would be the case, then you would set the intention that now whenever you see people doing something that you want to be doing, that you recognize yourself in them and that you see what's possible and available for you, right? So allow yourself to really let your body respond to you in whatever way it needs to so that you can flip the narrative to see it from a different perspective. And as you're seeing that like, oh, okay, I can actually uh, experience myself in a different way. I don't have to experience it as like jealousy or something like that. But you also need to recognize that like your body and your mind is holding on to those thoughts or those feelings or those subtle energy blockages for a reason, right? Because for some reason, it feels like it's not safe without them. It won't be safe without them because like this is the way that you've pre- uh, previously re- been able to receive love and acceptance for just like being who you are with your limitations. And if so if you weren't jealous of people anymore, then maybe you'd be focused way more on yourself and you'd be focused way more on like lifting other people up or, you know, supporting people that you think are doing a fantastic job. And if that were to happen, then you would really be seen for who you actually are. And that's a threat to your current existence, right? And so the thing that we really need to do is to recognize that we are safe in our bodies, that uh, we are the source of our safety, that you know, there's nothing outside of us that is going to make us feel better about who we are. And that we get to be that for ourselves in this moment. And so you work your body into this feeling of it's safe for me to be my most brilliantly expressed self right here, right now. And then you stay with that. You allow like those feelings to to dissipate or to transmute in you to where you get to feel as if you are already in your most brilliant expression right this moment and even if you're only able to hold that feeling for like a couple of seconds a couple of minutes whatever then you just trust that that couple of seconds is all it took for you to fully fucking let go of that energy and when the mind kicks up with its bullshit and is like you didn't really fucking release it blah 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 you you know that you did I did release it I witnessed it I did that it happened and then you just choose to release it again anytime that that voice comes up it's like you know in two days whenever you're like scrolling and somebody's doing something that you know maybe you had an idea to do and then you didn't do it um that you don't be like, oh, fuck, they suck, that sucks, blah, 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 whatever. But instead, you realize, oh, okay, that thing's coming up again. Like, that's my conditioning. Um, I already released that. I chose to release it. I did release it. And now I get to decide to act from, like, that other space, the other perspective that I have of, like, cool, well, I'm happy somebody fucking took action on that idea, right? Because if you got the idea and they got the idea, well, they took the action on the idea. And if you had taken the action on that idea, then, you know, you would be doing the thing too. And so there's a lesson in it for you that's like, okay, I know that whenever I get a download that I must act on it. And so here you're even presented with a new opportunity for growth and for trust and for expansion and all the things that you need in order to really be able to say, yeah, I'm living my most brilliant expression. So now that you have done like a full release, you can do this with, uh, you know, you can do some folk magic, you can do some ritual work with any beings that you like to work with, um, your guides or ancestors or, um, you know, any, any way that you want to do it, you can totally ritualize this or you can just allow it to be like a journaling process if you want. Um, but definitely get your body involved. That's why ritual is so fucking potent is because you're getting all of your senses involved and you're transcending the mind um, and you're you're coming from a place of wholeness um, and so whenever you're there you know you're literally placing your hands on the building blocks of reality and you are recoding this experience to be what you want it to be so if you want to do this in a ritualistic way just trust yourself you know trust your intentions um i mean trust your intuition is guiding you or trust your spirits are guiding you you know you might just have like um 
a candle that you dress and maybe like um, a bowl of water representing the like a black bowl representing the dark moon um, and you might do some scrying you might do whatever like you might just light a candle and keep your focus uh, keep your focus on on the flame as you are doing this releasing work you might put on some music and dance um, and release so there's like a million ways that you can do it but what I would suggest is to completely trust your intuition on how it wants to be released and how these new intentions want to be brought in now these new intentions that do want to be brought in through you are going to be a part of your highest calling and these this is like the thing that got me so excited for you know channeling this message tonight was is because it is so in my um in my what do you call it damn it aha uh -huh. It's called wheelhouse. <laughs> it is so in my wheelhouse. Like this is so my area of expertise. This is all about the visioning. This is all about bringing the vision to life through being the person who's able to hold, to dream a big dream, to envision this thing, to hold it, to expand it, to let it live, to give it life. And that's why I'm super excited about this one. So if you're into invocation or anything like that, this would be an excellent time to be doing some invocation. I personally absolutely love doing invocation of my own genius, okay? And if you've never done that before, um, I do talk about it in, I think, in Fuck Yes, Your Life um, and many other various uh, groups and experiences that I put on it is such a fucking fantastic way of connecting with your most brilliant expression but there are also other types of invocations that you might want to do with different uh, entities that you work with or energies that you would like to bring in um, but the most like the coolest thing is whenever you bring in like the actual vision for your life and what you know it's meant to be. And so this new moon is really asking us to dream bigger than what we currently think is available for us, right? Beyond what the fear mind says is available. Like this is like um one of those call in what doesn't fucking make sense to call in and know that it's done type of energies and you can bet your sweet ass that over the next few months you are going to be called to some heavy duty fucking trusting because the way that this works is that you set a goal set an intention set a whatever a clear expectation for this vision coming to life even if it doesn't make sense and so you're gonna have lots of fear mind shit going on you're gonna have a lot of intuitive guidance because that intuitive guidance or that fuck yes guidance from your fuck yes spirit that guidance is taking you on a path taking you on a journey where you're going to have to confront that fear where you're going to have to confront all of the reasons why you couldn't have it yet why you couldn't be it yet and you get to take that as the opportunity this goes back to like the last freaking podcast I recorded which was why I was so freaking excited too is because like this is the perfect perfect time to harness this energy and to know without a shadow of a doubt that every single thing that's happening in your life is you experiencing the opportunity to be what you say what you claim to be and to stand for what you claim to stand for and to become the person that can hold and expand and live and bring to life that vision and the and other intuitive guidance piece of it or the guidance from your fuck yes spirit is trying to take you there it's trying to bring this stuff into your life and that's why you get those hits that's why you get those downloads and when you listen to them it significantly it, it collapses time it collapses all of time and space but it's up to you to discipline yourself to, you know, be able to tell the difference between your fear mind and your and your intuition. Uh, it's up to you to be able to have the courage to say, no, I'm not going to live in my limitation anymore. I'm going to fucking do the thing, even if it actually is super duper scary or even if it doesn't make sense even if it seems like it's irrelevant to the becoming of your vision it might seem like it has nothing to do with the manifestations of what you are trying to call in or what you are calling in right because you don't have to try with this you literally it's literally set out in front of you and you just have to choose it and the last thing about this is that like you 
really need to set up the uh, expectations, the standards for the quality of experience that you want to have because right now it is just I cannot even get over how perfect timing it is for you to fucking back yourself on these upgrades to know that it is done and to know that you get to also choose the quality of experience that you want to have like that it that it actually gets to be super simple that it can be easy that when you hustle that it's actually really aligned and fun and flow and it's something that you want to be hustling for it's not like put your nose to the grindstone type of hustle but it's the kind that you want to do that activates that you, that activates you that enlivens you enlivens you i think um, you know, setting the quality of the experience to be fun, to be magical, to be pleasure, to be play, to be whatever you want it to be. Because right now, what you want is what you're going to get. And so if you're not dealing with those fear mind bullshit blocks that come up, then it's super easy for you to be choosing that. Because, you know, staying hyper conscious and hyper focused and hyper aware on what's going on in your minds, what thoughts are producing emotions in your body and all of that, then you're going to be getting more of the, the same old shit. And that is like, this is literally the perfect time to break that pattern, to break that cycle. So this is what I wanted to share with you. If you have any questions, make sure that you send me a DM on Instagram or you can email me astrid at thewickedweaver.com. And I am so looking forward to watching these next few months coming up and just like all the crazy, crazy changes, especially if you've done this. Like I'm telling you, this is the perfect energy to have your vision and and your your vision supported by not only your mind by not only your spirit but also by your body and your nervous system and this is such a big deal it's such a big deal for you to understand the magnitude of what's happening because of just how easy it's going to be for you to experience the new upgrades that are coming to you to be and become the person that can actually live inside the vision you have inside of you. So that does it for me and I will see you on the next one.